Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's quite a market, man. Let's make it a great night. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption anymore because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 1100, NASDAQ is down 561, SP's off 155, gold contract down $27.30 at 1713 an ounce. You get silver down 46 cents at $19.40 an ounce, light sweet crude off 20 cents. $87.57 a barrel, notes and bonds. So you get the 10 year down 21 ticks, trading 114.29. The 30 year, that just popped up. It was down 30, now it's down 15 ticks in a minute. Pretty cool. I got to look at that. Down 15 ticks, 132.12 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up uh, 1,486 ticks, trading out at a price point of uh, 109.815, the euro is at 199, the yen is at 144, and the British pound is at 115 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, you're going to be going after a swing point. You know, we're down $15.5 right now. The swing we're talking about on the SPY, you get 74 million shares. We made a high yesterday with 69. You're gonna do probably 84 million, 94 million. So the B point on this potential ABC down is at 388. Now let me show you something else though, because you actually have a potential intraday ABC structure down right now. And it's a big one, okay? So you can see what happened here is that uh, about 40 minutes ago, uh, let's see, no, one, how many bars? One, two, three, four, four. Yeah, five bars ago, it passed the B point. Now, what it did is this. You, you got by it, so that, that's going to give you a price projection. The A is on this. You, what happens when you gap down like this, folks, if you're doing the ABC structure, you, take, you don't take the top of the gap. You take the bottom of the gap where it opened up. So that's 403. Uh, 297, so it, it's six points. That gets you uh, 392. Thus far, we're at 395. Now, what we have, let me see how many minutes are left here. Okay, so you're at 10 minutes here. So what has happened is this. This is going to get interesting, and this is why. So flat out, my take is that we're going to that swing point, and you get a potential ABC structure down. Now, that being said, what just happened here is this. 10 minutes ago, on the, on the 250 bar, you had volume coming of 1.7. The one we just had is 1.5. So this bar is going to be an important bar because, you know, the markets are deviant in general, okay? But the bottom line is that, you know, yeah, you can get a small bounce. Like, we got a small bounce intraday, and I can show you, you know, it was, it was pretty clear, and you can see how volume was clear in these deals. You know, we were bouncing along the bottom, and what ended up happening is that uh, at 1,300, 1 o'clock, that was the first bar all day long that you had any volume in. And yeah, you know, you didn't get a lot, but you get 397 all the way up to uh, 399. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. It's the exact same setup inside the NDX. What you have here is the, you know, bottom line, we're down $15.29 right now. You're going after the B point. And now you can see that the NDX 100 is clearly much weaker than the S&P. So we're going after a B point. Now the B point is 290 or 295. And for an ABC down, you need at 57 million shares. Well, we're 58 today. Now, I don't expect to hit this B point today. You know, uh, right now you're five bucks away from it, and we're already down 15 and a half dollars. Now, let me show you the exact same setup intraday what we had inside of the queues. Also, you can see when we we took out, we needed more than uh, let's see, 824,000 uh, shares. We did 927. We took out the B. That being said. The bottom line is you can see this, this bar here that was at uh, 10 of 2, 10, 10 of 3 rather, is your highest volume bar. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see how this shakes out. But bottom line, this market has trouble. King dollar. We go to king dollar. King dollar very well could be an ABC structure on the way up, folks. You know, what you have out here is that you have wide price spread, accelerated volume. Uh, you're going to go after the, the, the B point. The B point's 110.786. 
Um, that's going to give you, that's a 6.A to B. And if that's what we get, you're talking about a 113, 114 inside of the, do, inside of the dollar index. We go into the, uh, let's go into the bond because what's happening here is this. I believe that, let me just see this. We may, very well may have an ABC structure down on the bond too. Um, okay, so let me go this way. We have 165,000 contracts. I think it is. We, I was talking to Z about this yesterday. It's an ABC down. There you go, man. Okay, rates are going high, right to the moon. Okay, so this is uh, 12025. Okay, so you get five bucks. That's 111. We're at 11430. And it wants to go to a 111. So let's bring this up. T, no, TY, TY1, generic one. Okay. Gener here we go. So these rates are going to go dramatically higher, not just a little higher, folks, okay? We bring this up, put this on a monthly, and you're going to see we're going to be going back to 2007, 2008 rates. That's how this is setting up. We had already broke the larger portion of it. You already broke that portion, and we did that last week. Uh, bottom line was game now is, you know, right down to the bottom. Right there with, what did I say? It was 111. That was, that was the next move. So 111, yeah, you can see there was a lot of trade in there. That was in uh, 2008. Yeah, bottom line is we'll see how it's going to react going after those lower levels. But that's, you know, right now, if you take a look at the 10-year, we are at uh, 3.420. And the high for the last year is 3.473, you know. So I suspect more than likely what you're going to see here, uh, the dollar will continue higher. You're going to get the, you know, the bonds continue lower. And, uh, you know, we're going to have volume on the marketplace here. That's for sure today. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 1144. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 576. S&P's off 161. Come right back, folks. Mm -hmm.